The Amazon Fire TV Stick is a great device for streaming content to your TV, but if you've used it for a while, you know it really slows down, and that's because Amazon wants to track everything that you're doing on your device. Well, in today's video, we're gonna go over some settings to turn off to help speed it back up. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we are in my Fire TV stick. What we're gonna do is let's go ahead and navigate over to the settings. We're gonna go all the way over here to the side click on settings, and then what I wanna do is I wanna scroll down and I first wanna to go to My Fire TV. This is where you should be going to first. Click on the About, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and Install Update. You wanna make sure you've got the most up-to-date version on your device. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this is fully up-to-date. All right, now that we're fully up to date, let's go ahead and back out of there. Now, if you're having problems with your device, it's just being buggy, not working correctly, you may wanna go down and do a full factory reset. That is going to reset your device back to factory settings and clear anything that you have done on it. That's kind of like a last case scenario if you're just really having problems, but that is going to be right here in the settings. But let's go ahead and back out of here. The next step that I wanna to go to, we're gonna go back into settings over here and we're gonna go down to preferences. So here we are in preferences, parental control. So parental control is something you're gonna to wanna to turn on if you have kids or you just don't want people to get into your account, make in-app purchases, things like that. So you can turn that on if you want to. I have mine off, but that is just a personal preference if you wanna do that. Now, privacy settings, this is a big one. This is where we're gonna to wanna to turn a lot of stuff off because this is where the settings are for monitoring data. So we've got device use data. Use personal data collected by my operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. Go ahead and turn this one off. You can read that if you want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off. Collect app usage data. So this is allowing your device to collect data of the apps that you're using. So if you use any of the apps, it's going to collect data from there. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this one off too. I don't want Amazon collecting any data on me. Now we've got interest-based ads. What it's gonna do is it's going to collect more data and curate interest-based ads to you. I don't want that, I'm turning mine off right there. So a lot of the data monitoring that is going on in your system, we've got that all off now. Let's go ahead and back out of there. We have got data monitoring. So this might be helpful for you if you've got maybe an internet cap. This is going to allow you to say set video quality. Maybe you can't have the best and you need to either do good or better. You can jump that in there and do that. Set data alerts. So if you're getting towards a certain cap, you can do that there. Personally, I don't have a data cap on my internet, my home internet here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn mine off. Don't need any kind of data cap. Notification settings, that is another one. So I don't want any kind of notification settings. Do not interrupt. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. I do not want to be interrupted with any kind of notifications. Go ahead and just turn that one on right there. Below that, we've got app notification settings. So if you go ahead and click on that, you can turn each one of these off. This is gonna be for every single app in there. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you need to go in there and manually turn each one of those off. Let's go ahead and back out of there. Next one, we have featured content. So what this means is that back on the home screen, let's go ahead and go back to the home screen here. If I go all the way up to the top, say this top one right here, if we have it selected, it is automatically going to play and you're going to hear audio from it. To help with resources and not have that automatically play and buffer and anything like that, we're gonna go back into the settings here and we're gonna turn off that automatic play option. So let's go down here, we're gonna go back to preferences. Let's go down to featured content and we are just gonna turn off the autoplay on both of those. Okay, that is everything that we need to turn off in preferences. We're gonna back out here. We're gonna go into applications now. So in applications, there are a few things here that are probably ideal to turn off. One is going to be app store. So we're gonna go in here to the app store. We're gonna turn off automatic updates. So this is going to be updates that are automatically going to happen to your apps, which are going to take up resources and slow it down. I am turning that one off for an automatic update. Next up, we're gonna to go to in-app purchases. I'm gonna turn that one off. I don't want any in-app purchases. And then we're going to go down to notifications. I'm going to turn that one off too. All right, that is pretty much all we have for turning everything off to get a better experience and it not being so slow and laggy on your device. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.